So maybe you want to change the color of your beard and you're like, what color do I want to change my beard to? I can't figure it out. Like, is it white? Is it purple? Is it cream? Is it blurple? No one knows, man. Uh, you won't know unless uh, you try it out or you can open up Photoshop and figure out what it looks like exactly on you. Take a photo of yourself, even test it on your exact face. But today I'm gonna to be showing you how to change the color of your beard in Photoshop. This also, of course, applies to just your regular hair, hair or, or even really anything it could, but hair is specific and I wanna show you guys how to do that. All right, so we're gonna start with this beautiful beard right here. And the first thing you wanna do is get your selection tool and select out the hair. All right, let's do that. Sorry if my computer act slow while I'm recording and screen recording. Sometimes it does that depending on how big the picture is. Uh, but uh, I'll just have to upgrade my computer eventually. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. You will never know. Actually, you will know, but I'll let you know when that happens. So I'm just selecting as much as I can right now with the, the regular selection tool. Some people call it a magic wand. That's what I call it because it's magic. It's freaking Photoshop magic, man. Magic, man. Oh no, what did I do? Undo, control Z if you mess up. That's the beautiful thing about Photoshop. And then uh, if you wanna select or subtract from your selection, all you have to do is hold Alt and see how it turns that into a minus sign, plus sign when you let go. So as long as you're holding Alt, it will subtract away from your selection. But we want to add, and see, we want to add right here, and we'll do that. It's already added. So we want to subtract away his little side cheeks. What do they call those? There's got to be like a specific name for that. All right, so now we got like a basic selection that is mostly good. Let's get around that because we're going to use the refine edge tool. The refine edge tool lets you get all these extra hairs and select them. And that's up here in select and mask. Boom. So this refine edge tool is right here. It looks like it's got a little fire on it. And uh, we're going to shrink that by holding Alt and our right clicker and dragging it left. Drag it right to make it bigger and drag it up to change the hardness and the softness of it. We're going to keep it like 50. That's good. Shrink it. And you just want to kind of put it around half in the other area and half on your selection. See that? Isn't that freaking amazing? Photoshop is so cool. See, I'm just going around it. Let go every once in a while so that it, uh, if it messes up, I don't have to go all the way back. Oh no, I messed up. See right there? Just getting all the little edges. Wanna get in here, get all that little skin out. Little white boy skin. All right, so now that we have our selection, we're going to make a group and we're gonna make a mask for our selection. So now that this is the only thing in that, that, that will be affecting when we add our effects. All right, so the tool I'm gonna to be using to change the color on this is the color balance tool. So if we want green, push that green up a little bit, take that, that blue down, Bring it into the yellows, that's the kind of green I'm going for. Brighten that green up. And we can fix these edges that like around the skin and, and do that by painting on the mask. Make sure you clip the mask. And when you use your brush tool, black erases. And you can change it to white to add. So if we need to add right there, that's what we'll do.
but it's not working. Oh, opacity. Make sure that opacity is up. All right, take some of that out. So yeah, we'll just use black to take away some of that area on the lips to line it up, make it better. Zoom it out. So if you want to pick another color, what you'll want to do is go down here and you'll want to add another adjustment layer, hue and saturation, and you can slide this right here to whatever color you want. So you want a purple, boom. And you can also take the opacity down if it's too much. We want that in there and you can blend it too. Change the blend mode to color and that will undo, redo. Just try different blend modes. Normal, ooh, look at that. See, you can easily make him have black, a black beard. See what, you can see what, see if your beard looks good black. It's beautiful. So that's basically how, how you change colors of your hair. And there's multiple ways to do it. You can get, spend a little more time to get more precise in fixing up these edges right here. Look at that, we can make him have a gray hair. Gray beard. So that's how you would do it. So I hope this was free and helpful for you. And if it was, you know, do that thing where you smash that like button and follow this page because I'm gonna be doing a bunch of tutorials with my beautiful bearded face and personality. Do 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 do.